covering Colorado first. As more and more parts of the state open up, researchers are gathering information showing just how much the pandemic has changed our day to day lives. Good evening, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. For months now, Coloradans have been adapting their work, schooling, and entertainment, all in an effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. Well, now the state has teamed up with researchers to see what counties and even cities responded more significantly than others. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us now, live tonight in Weld County. And Dylan, these stats are pretty easily tracked. Yeah, Kathy, just about everyone these days carries a smart phone device on them. From the couch to the kitchen, and even out in the public, these items here are collecting data. And now that very data from some users is being evaluated by the state to see the potential spread of COVID-19. People uh, responded uh, pretty dramatically to the risk of COVID-19 and to uh, the stay-at-home orders. In the palm of your hand is a device which can help researchers better understand the spread of COVID-19. Depending on your apps or location services, researchers can evaluate the time spent at home, visits to certain types of stores, restaurants, retail. That data from Colorado showed a significant slow in mobility at the beginning of March, right as COVID-19 arrived and Governor Polis issued a stay-at-home order. But cell data shows not everyone responded the same. The mobility in Denver and Silverthorne, for instance, fell more rapidly than in Fort Collins and Durango. The data is pooled and makes it virtually impossible for researchers like CSU's Jude Bayham to identify individual users. We're probably only observing about 10% of devices. The purpose of reviewing the data. To understand how people have changed uh, behavior in response to COVID-19. While trips to stores, schools, and offices slowed. We saw visitation in, in parks have, have picked up. The same phones proved Coloradans were ready to return to some sense of normalcy. Midway through April, we, we started to see a trend uh, in the other direction. Researchers are now eager to compare the data to COVID-19 cases. We obviously had epidemics and pandemics before, and what we didn't have is real-time information. Kathy, while that data is very telling, at the same time, an iPhone or another device cannot tell those who are evaluating the data whether or not the user is wearing a face mask, practicing social distancing, or even washing their hands, making the data not perfect at predicting the future of COVID-19. Reporting live in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.